Welcome back. I wanted to show you what's underneath the rotund. This is pretty exciting because this is the first time I've tried to grow in a low tunnel. This is also the first time I've tried to grow in, this, in uh, November because normally we can't get things, or I didn't know that you could grow things in November. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube. I am a YouTube educator. <laughs> And so we need to pay some rent. We as an I and my trusty cameraman, my son is videoing for me today, which is new. I've never had him do that before. And he'd rather his name be anonymous because he is also a YouTuber. And he doesn't want people to know his real name. Can I be a little late for that? Different channel, Mom. Different channel. So, we're just going to get this class out of the way. We're looking for a couple of really warm days. And that way I can show you what's growing in here. Now a lot of the stuff that's in here, people might think that the majority of it is weeds, and some of it is, to be honest. Um, Looks like grass to me. Well, I mean, you know who you are. You've already said my name in your channel before. Uh, true. But here we Just have... don't say my channel, please. Okay. Here we have... I love you. Brussels sprouts. I love you too, buddy. I love Brussels sprouts. And my son loves Brussels sprouts. So, I grew this for him. And I actually started this plant in Iowa. And then I... I did in Iowa. Jolly. Uh -huh. And then we moved. <laughs> and so, I dug it. We dug it back up. I think Joel's the one that probably dug it up for me. Because I was in a wheelchair at the time. Because uh, I got hurt pretty bad. And that's why I ended up losing uh, my job. Why are you kicking stuff? I was getting out of my way. Anyway, so there's the Brussels sprout. In the back, we have a blueberry and a row of beets. What's these little white plants? White uh, flowers. Beneficials. We'll just call them beneficials. <laughs> They're for the beneficials. They're um, for bees. And because I don't have anything to replace it with. And as I want to plant something, I dig up those things. They don't bother me. They're pretty. I like them. So I'll let them grow. These, actually, um, I encourage these to grow. The clovers. Because these, the, the yellow flowers here, these are actually edible. Well, let's see what I'm eating. And they're really pretty. And they taste like sweet candy. A little sour. Like sweet and sour candy. You want me to pick you one? I got it. Mm. They're pretty good. So, we eat those. Um, there's blackberries. They don't have to be under the plastic. Um, but I told you, this is why I wanted the low tunnel. Mm. Because you can't do that in November. It's hard to get seeds to germinate. Do you see them? That's cabbage. These are spinach. Right here. Can you see those? They're just coming up. Yay! That's grass. That's not meant to be there. Well, let's see it. <clears throat> and... Over here, there's a mixed green. And anybody that's watched any of my videos knows when I plant things, I normally don't know what they are. I mean, I usually plant it, forget it, and when it comes up, it's a surprise to everybody. 
so we don't really know what it is. But this time, for your benefit, I actually made a chart of where everything was planted. So that's the only reason I know. On the back side of spinach, then basil, cabbage, peas, then of course the blackberry that's there. And then going this way, links uh, across the width of the bed is beets, lettuce, radishes, pickles, jaw, um, turnip, and I'm gonna say that shogun. It's spelt like shogun, but I'm probably not saying that right. Greens mix, purslane, collards, mustard, purple top turnips. Let's get an overview. Radishes again. Sorrel. Nasturtium. There was a cantaloupe there, but the cold got to it. Um, oh. A low tunnel can only do so much. And squash. Can, I mean, you know, the cantaloupe is not... It's not... This is not a miracle work, you know. It's... <laughs> It's not, it's only going to protect it so much. So the, the cantaloupes didn't make it, but I expected that. I wasn't expecting to be able to grow everything in here, but it was already growing. And I thought if I could just hold on for a little bit longer till I got some fruit off of it, because there was fruit on it and it hasn't had time to develop, but it's too far gone. So, um, it was pouring down rain when I tried to get this thing. Uh, the rain was caving it in in the middle, and I didn't put a pole for bracing here because this is where I was going to, I was going to kind of sit there and then lean over to work in, in there, but it's not working because then this part in the middle caves in. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to untie this mess. And it was pouring down rain, so that's my excuse as to why it's so sad looking, the job that I did. But what I was trying to do, I'm going to do today with the right kind of wire cord, uh, the right kind of cordage. So that's the plan. <clears throat> if I can get it untied. I should have already done this. <laughs> and one of these days, we're going to figure out how to do editing really well so you don't have to suffer through all this. If you want, if you're not going to hurt my feelings at all, fast forward till you see me doing something not this. Which hopefully won't take as long as I feared. Why don't you tell YouTube exactly what you're doing? I'm untying this mess that I made. Oh, and I'm probably, one thing I can tell you while I'm untying all this mess is about that over there. That, we'll call that the dragon that I slayed today. I was waging a war with poison ivy, and I'm probably. Night in a hair bun. I'm probably <laughs> going to regret that um, tonight and then probably tomorrow. What do you mean? Because I'm allergic to poison ivy and <laughs> it's going to itch like crazy. But the last time we got wood chips, there was a bunch of wood chips back there. But uh, poison ivy got all in it while we were going to Iowa. And... Now I'm trying to right the wrong squirrel on the property where all the weeds have come in while I was away. And we've battled poison ivy for as long as I've been alive on this hill. So this is not new stuff going on. It always comes back. He's trying to do something. No, I'm not. Or something. What are you trying to tell me? Oh. You're giving me a tap. 
time update. I'm sorry. Just tell me. We're in 10 minutes. Move this thing along. If I make it too long, it's going to take forever to load, and you probably won't get it till tomorrow. Okay. And Lord knows we love watching her videos tonight. While laying in our comfy beds, drinking hot cocoa and our Snuggies. Tom and I, every night before we go to bed, we have hot tea. And that's something that we've been liking to do. Chamomile. Because it's cold. Yep. So, I'm going to eat some wine. And I'm going to pound the steak. And at the end here... You want me to do that part for you? Thing looks heavy. It is. If it wasn't, it wouldn't pound the steak in. Ugh, that thing is stuck in the mud. That's how I feel when doing math. That you're getting good at, by the way. I've been doing this since I was a little girl. I'll do that for you, Mom. Just back, back up with it so it doesn't. Let me pound it in just a little bit, and then I'll let you do it. So. Huh? Okay, Joe. It's all right. Just let me know. All right. Kind of cover the speaker just a little bit because I don't want this to um, deafen them. <laughs> okay? Because this is very loud. Now stand back so a little. Turn the volume down on your phones. And the neighbors are like, Godzilla! <laughs> like a boss. I'll let you do the next one. Now this is just a piece of wood that I sharpened one end. Hold that thought. Cover it again. Yes, ma'am? All right. It's, uh, we'll be there as soon as we can. <laughs> We're getting called in to supper. So, same, uh. same thing. And I also cut a notch in it here. That way, whenever I get to the end here, we'll have uh, a place to hook and attach the, the, um, the string to. Did you want to do this one? Sure. I can do it. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Ah! Okay. I'll take this. 